It's amazing how uh, smooth it is. Hi everybody, Steve from Steve's Makerspace here and today we are in Scrap Mechanic. We're going to take a look at some of fan creations, things that people have posted to my Discord. So let's start with the Boeing CH-47 camera controlled Chinook by Xdeon. Well, it looks fabulous. Let's get in. And seven is the doors. Or one take off. Well, I guess I have to hold it. And I guess I have to face the camera this way. Up, W, there we go. Whoa. All right, well, it looks fabulous. Um, only thing I don't like about camera controlled vehicles, let's see, I need to go up, W, is of course, I can't really get a good look at it. I mean, if I look at it, it's flying around in a circle. All right, let's see if we can land it. Bam! <laughs> sort of landed it. No, not quite. All right, we're gonna try to land it. Oh! Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay. Very nice. It looks good. Uh, I find it a little bit difficult to fly, but cool. Next, we've got a Mercedes Silk by David Bogueta. I should say that the Mercedes would, was not posted by David Bogueta. It was posted by Milkman, a friend of uh, David's. All right. Looks nice. Exit. That's cool. Okay. That's how you get out? Oh, it's got a Mercedes symbol in the front. Cool. Okay, I found it a little difficult to get into it for some reason. Okay, it's got no mods. Um, switch one is the lights. There we go. Switch two is the roof. Whoa, no way. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is so cool. That's beautiful. No mods. Look at that. Very good. Okay, let's see how it drives. I can't believe that convertible function. That was so good. All right. Yeah, it drives pretty well. Let's see how it takes a jump. Oh, it's a little slow. <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's try that again. Huh. As soon as I get into the driver's seat, it just starts driving. So I'm not hitting W at all. What happens if I do hit W? Oh, it goes even faster if I hit W. That is awesome. It looks great as a convertible. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Next. The Drum 2.0 by Ask Me Why? I don't know. I Ask Me Why. Whoa. This thing is huge. How do I get in? Oh, there we go. Okay, I am zoomed out all the way. One. Two. Three. That's hover. Four. Okay. Interesting. Four. Whoa. Tilt forward. Tilt, tilt, tilt the other way. Oops. 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 Uh, okay, we'll toggle it the other way. Aha. Uh -huh. Whoa, too much, too much. Whoops. Okay, this is, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. 
does w, do w a s oh w a s and d do do something okay i've hit the wall okay i'm gonna i'm gonna get the hang hang of this this is interesting i want to figure it out one okay i'm hitting one let's, let's hit one some more let's try doing a d Will that turn me to the side? It does, but it also rolls me. Um. Oh boy. All right, let's toggle it. So if I keep doing this, it should go forward a little bit. Let me see if I just hit upward thrust a little bit and then turn it off. Does that get me some momentum? Let's avoid that rock. Uh, it's hard to get any momentum this way. Let's get off the ground. Whoa, but then I got a tilt. Nope. Alright, I think a, someone who is a better driver could do better with this vehicle. Uh, I think it's very interesting and uh, a, a different way of driving. Uh, but I'm having a lot of trouble figuring it out. I like the colors. It looks um, looks to be vanilla, so that's good. Okay, next we're gonna see the 2X Bone F1 Hover by Daniel Blackbone. And that looks so good already. Uh, let's see basically a concept sci-fi F1 car. Special thanks to Averium and question mark for guidance on logic. Oh, I like that seat. One, whoa, holy cow, look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so stable. Wow, two turns on the engine. So it does have WASD, I just had to turn it on first. Oh, that is so nice. This is so easy to fly. So smooth. Wow. That's beautiful. It's amazing how uh, smooth it is. Whoop. Except when you do that. Uh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> okay. Alright, we'll try that again. Oh man, I just love the way it takes off and the way it looks. It's so good. Just don't hit a wall. <laughs> Whatever you do. It's unrecoverable in my experience. All right, let's see what happens when it encounters this hill. Does it go up? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can go under this tree. I don't know if we can make it. Oh, we did. And, oh, I meant to, okay, we can go up this hill. Let's see if we can go up the hill. Oh, no, we missed. It's a little hard to make a turn. Yeah, so it doesn't doesn't do sharp turns very well. And if you hit a tree, it does not like it if you hit a tree. Once it goes upside down, it's pretty much unrecoverable. Okay, let's try see if we can make it up this hill. It's going to be difficult to stay on the path though. Oh, man. Uh, and it really doesn't like it hit trees. So very smooth and easy to fly as long as you don't hit anything. Let's see what happens when we go off the hill. So just, it just falls. Oh, it falls pretty hard. Whoa. Oh, man. 
Oh, it's starting to straighten itself out, I think. It seems like it's trying to figure out where the ground is. We're going to find out pretty soon, guys. What will it, will it do? Oh! <laughs> hmm. Okay. Whew! Now we recovered. Okay, here's... Still looks great. Flies great. As long as you don't hit anything. Nice. I'll say I was gonna give it 10 out of 10 before I started hitting stuff. Now I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Still awesome. Now I've got the Guitar Peggiator by Lego Freak. Um, Scrapman had featured a version of this recently in his video and Lego Freak said, oh, I wish he had featured this one. Uh, so let's take a look. Okay. Um, this thing looks amazing and I found out there's a door look at this you can come in and look at the logic and there's music boxes lots of music boxes okay so there's basically two buttons, one there, at least that I can tell, and then this button will turn on some music. Okay, I think it might be on repeat. That's awesome. Very nice Lego Freak. Thank you. And this is by Toothless Saddle by Shadow. Um, this actually was not posted on my Discord. I saw Khan feature it. I think it was Khan. Uh, and I just wanted to try it myself because it looked really cool. Three, I don't know what any of the buttons do. Whoa. Oh man. That's taken off. Let's go this way. Whoa, come on, come on. No. Okay, I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. My fault. Uh one, two, ha. Three. Yes. Four. Whoop, look out. Four. Just gets us in the air. Okay, and now I can fly. Nice. Whoa, look at this. Oh man, that is so cool. Go for the tree. Oh, nice. This is fun to fly. Whee! <laughs> oh yeah, did a barrel roll. Oh, oops. All right, we'll get up, get some, get some height before we do a barrel roll. All right, ready? Barrel roll. There we go. Nice. Do another one. Excellent. Okay, let's see, can we... Whoa, whoa. Pretty good. Not a bad landing. Hit a tree, but it's not too bad. <laughs> I like it. I like it, let's do the fire. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, oops. <laughs> 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 
Let's see. <laughs> Poor dragon. He looks so sad now. Oh, his tail. <laughs> Poor sad dragon tail. Were those his eyes? <laughs> his eyes are left behind. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Okay, that's going to do it for this episode. If you have liked this episode, please give me a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. Um, let me hear your comments. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think of these builds. Uh, thanks to all the builders. Uh, links are in the description to the workshop. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Steve's Makerspace.